favorite. Okay, and I'm just going to jump right in. So, first off, October favorite, it was my birthday. Of course. Yes. <laughs> Alright, let's just jump right into other things. I'm going to kind of start random. This big old paddle brush, I've been loving this thing. Um, sorry about all the hair. I get a lot of hair loss. <laughs> anyway, uh, I just am loving the width, and it just works really well. I like it a lot. This has been a favorite. Next favorite for October has been scarves. Um, I, if you saw on one of my um, Dollarama hauls, I got quite a few. And I love them. I wear them all the time. One almost every time I go out. Especially since the snow is falling and stuff here. So, let's jump into, um, I only have one perfume, so let's go with that. Uh, for the majority of October, I have been loving this Victoria's Secret Amber Romance Amber and Cream something. Orange. Which looks like that, and it's just a cute little bottle like this. And they don't really explain how seductive and alluring the perfect finish, finishing touch, spray on, that, 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 yeah, doesn't say. But it smells amazing. So go to your Victoria's Secret and give this a sniff. You'll probably like it. Uh, okay, the Up and Up brand eye makeup remover. Um, I bought this around the exact same time as I bought that perfume. So I have been loving this. You don't need much, as you can see. I barely used any. But this works amazing to get your waterproof uh, eye makeup off. It's just one swipe, easy as pie. It works amazing, and I will be repurchasing this. Next is lip products. Let's jump in there. Um, first product is a MAC lipstick. This is a glazed lipstick in hue. I am wearing it right now. It is so creamy, so moisturizing, such a beautiful color. I just love it. Uh, Rimmel Lipstick in 006 Pink Blush. This is another just gorgeous color. I've been wearing this color a lot lately, too. It is just... Gorgeous. I'm just going to swatch it for you. I am gibbled up right now, so sorry about that. But there it is. And everyone's seen Max Hughes. Next lipstick is Wet n Wild 918D. It does not have a name on it, but it is this stunning color you saw in my fall... Uh, makeup tutorial look. It was the last color um, of lipstick shown in that tutorial. And it is like a deep wine color. But it is beautiful. I love it. Love it. Last lipstick is the CoverGirl Divine. So this is a lighter purple, but it is still a purple. That's that last one there. Beautiful. Lastly for lip products are these NYX Butter Glosses. I love these. I got this amazing butter gloss from Julia Gulia, but from Julia in our swap. And this is Peaches and Cream. And this is a stunning color. So bright, so vibrant, just gorgeous.
And the one that I purchased myself is Eclair. I got this in a set because um, we don't have the butter glosses in the NYX collections here yet. They are coming because I have spoke to uh, the companies that are selling NYX, whether they're coming, and they said they are. So that's this last one here. Next, we're going to go on to face products. For foundation, I've been loving the MUA Makeup Academy's Matte Foundation in Shade 1. It's a velvet smooth, long-lasting foundation. This is a, it's not a fully matte, it's like a demi-matte foundation, but it has amazing coverage, it blends really well, and it sits nicely. So, this is a great foundation if you can find it or get it. For concealer, the e.l.f. Maximum Coverage Concealer. This, in the summer, was just a little bit too moisturizing for me, but for the winter, now that it I don't know, it just seems like I've dried oak. <laughs> this works amazing for highlighting underneath my eyes. I, I am loving this concealer. This is a new product for me. This is the NARS South Beach Cream Bronzer in a stick form. This is it here. And I am just going to swatch it for you so you can is a very easy bronzer to work with. It blends really well and it is just a gorgeous color. On to eye products. For eyeliner, I am loving the Jordana Fabu Liner that I also received in my swap. I have been like oogling over this because everyone on YouTube um, has it, but we can't get this in Canada. So. <clears throat> If you don't know already, this is what the liner tip looks like, and it is just an amazing eyeliner, and I have been using this thing just like crazy, so yay! Next is a, um, I don't know what you, a scandalized, Rimmel scandalized eyeshadow stick in Bulletproof Beige. I'm using this as a base for my eyeshadows lately. So I'm just going to give you a swatch of it. It is creamy and blendable and actually smells nice. doesn't have um, any glitter in it, but it's like metallic-y. It's gorgeous. It works perfect. Now on to eyeshadows. Uh, the Maybelline Color Tattoo in Bold Gold. I've been really into gold eyeshadows in general, and this is what that looks like. Give you a swatch on my finger. Sorry about the boo-boo hand, guys. So there's that. I would swatch it, but I just put it on the wrong, total wrong finger. Anyway, um... Another gold color is in this Sephora palette Ballroom Romance that I've been using a lot, and that is uh, this one right here, which looks like this. It is a just a beautiful, like gold, bronzy kind of color, right? And lastly, for gold colors. Half baked and well, toasted isn't really gold, but those two I have been absolutely adoring this month. Using them quite consistently in almost every look I do. So I think that's everything. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Bye, guys!
Chat, chat, chat. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah.